let's say my elements are 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 6 4 minus 1 minus 3 and 3 bracket close enter so as you can see now my matrix a has been defined it is a 3 cross 3 matrix now i want to find the determinant of the a okay so for that in scilab you do not have to do calculation by yourself you just have to write one command called det that is det small bracket name the matrix which is a over here enter it's minus 2 you can also do calculation by yourself to verify whether scilab is giving the correct answer or not but i am pretty much sure that it is the correct answer okay now let's move on to find the inverse which is a bit cumbersome process for you guys to do it manually okay so scilab makes it easy for you so to find the inverse you have to just type command called inv that is the first three letters of inverse inv again the matrix name sorry it's capital enter okay so it will show you the inverse of the matrix a so it is as simple as just to type uh, three uh, three letter command and you have to specify the matrix name but be sure that you have to mention the matrix name in the capital letters now next we want to find the eigenvalues so for eigenvalues the command is spec that is spec and the matrix okay so it will show you the eigenvalues also Eigenvalues. okay it will show you uh, as you can see it will show you the three eigenvalues now we will move on to the simple operations of square and cube uh, to do so what you are supposed to write our matrix is a okay then you have to put the caret sign that is shift number six on your keyboard over the number six you will see the sign like caret so uh, to enter this uh, caret symbol you have to press the sh uh, shift and that sixth number i want to find the square of the uh, matrix that's why a square enter so it will show you the square similarly i can find the cube also that is a caret three enter okay so this is very simple thing now in the next step i want to assign few special matrices okay like matrix having all the elements as one matrix having uh, identity matrix uh, that is having the uh, one as an element diagonal. diagonal in the diagonal manner and other all the other elements are zero so it will be a bit cumbersome process if you have to manually enter all those things so besides that what we can do is to suppose i want to assign one matrix of three cross three having all the elements zero okay so for that i can simply write one command z e r o s zeros same column inside the bracket you have to assign the size of the matrix that is three cross three okay rows comma columns as usual simple okay so it will assign one three rows three columns okay simply you can assign one name to that matrix also says b equals to zeros three column three enter so it will show that now the matrix b has this elements okay similarly i want to assign one identity matrix so for that it is e y e 3 comma 3 you can see that the element 1 is diagonally represented and all other elements are placed as 0 okay here it is needless to say that identity matrix has to be a square matrix right zero matrix can be of any dimension w matrix with all elements as one can be of any dimension but identity matrix has to be square matrix right that's why i e y e 3 comma 3 in zeros matrix you can have 3 comma 4 or any dimensions that is rows comma columns okay 
fine enough okay now next uh, suppose i want all the elements as one okay so for that i have to assign o n e 1 s okay ones again the row number and column number i can put anything that will be shown my, as my three rows and four columns okay 1 1 1 1 1 okay now next i want to define a matrix with a random number i do not have specification which element should be of which number okay i have want to generate the random numbers so for that i have one function called r a n d for the random what i can do is let's say assign one new matrix called p equals to r a n d it will generate the random numbers and then i have to assign the number of rows and columns that i will going to put as three rows and three columns it will show that it has generated nine elements okay randomly you do not have command over this number generation it can be anything okay and as the last thing suppose that i forgot to append some values inside the matrix as of now my matrix is 3 cross 3 okay and now i want to make it 4 cross 4 that's why i have to add three elements in the last in the last row over here that is 1 2 and 3 okay so for that to append elements inside the matrix what i will do is my matrix name is p okay so i'll define one new matrix called t equals to square bracket p okay semicolon now it will append the elements to the p matrix okay so you have to assign the elements in the square bracket that we know the convention i am going to assign the elements let's say 5 5 2 okay and the outer square bracket has to be closed space enter as you can see the 5 5 and 2 has been as, uh, appended inside this matrix so now the length of this uh, matrix t is 4 cos 4 cross 4 so similarly you can extend it up to any length okay but it should be in the square manner itself uh, now tadrash will uh, carry on uh, with the linear equations how to solve the equation uh, using the matrix function okay before that i will like to let you show something i have uh, the the concatenation thing there are some more details to it so let's have a look see again when you concatenate matrix that means you are creating a new matrix which is a joint by some two other matrices so suppose a is my matrix so it has to be row semicolon columns okay the basic convention how okay i have a matrix say a which is a uh, vector actually 1 2 and 3 vector b 5 12 and 8 and vector c 2 7 and 4 now i can join these three vectors to form a matrix in different ways you can add these vectors as a row or a single row or you can add this as a multiple rows also just have a look i will open my scilab let's zoom it okay suppose i have a vector a which is equals to 1 2 3 i define it okay i have a vector b 4 5 6 just for sake of convenience i have b i have a vector c 7 8 9 9 and then so now i have three vectors a b and c let me define a new matrix d okay is equal to now i want to join three matrices or three vectors a b and c to form a matrix d i can do it in two ways i will put a a space b space c d capital okay that means what this means what that a b and c three matrices will be simply joined as they are see 
वन टू एंड थ्री फॉर मैट्रिक्स ए फोर फाइव सिक्स फॉर मैट्रिक्स बी एंड सेवन एट नाइन फॉर मैट्रिक्स सी दे आर जस्ट जॉइंट साइड बाय साइड बट नाउ आई वॉन्ट दीज थ्री वैक्टर्स टू बी अरेंज इन थ्री डिफरेंट रोज टू फॉर्म अ थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मैट्रिक्स वॉट वी डू वाइज वी डिफाइन अ मैट्रिक्स वॉट वी डू टू सेपरेट द रोज वी पुट द सेमी कॉलन्स राइट सेम थिंग ए सेमी कॉलन बी सेमी कॉलन सी दैट्स ऑल एंड दे विल बी अरेंज इन डिफरेंट रोज सो यू सी थ्री वैक्टर्स आर सेपरेटेड बाय सेमी कॉलन्स in the in in this case in previous case i did not put semicolon that means what they will be added as a rows a single row it won't separate in a it won't break up the row okay so these things are very important semicolons where to put where not to put now i hope you internalize these things and that's why let me go back to the presentation something some nice concepts i have tried to put them over here see this now In previous case, what we did was, we had a simple vector, one-dimensional vector. But now, if we have a matrix P, we have a matrix P, one, two, and three, four, five, and six, two different rows. Now, I want to add one more column to it. One more column to it. What to do? Think over it. Okay. See, if I want to add a row, as I want to do in the next case, see. I again have a P matrix one two three four five six over there. I want to add a row of seven eight nine. Can you see the row over here? I have just highlighted it with red box. I want to add a row. How we add a row? We just put a semicolon and three elements separated by spaces. Simple thing. You see, I have, I have mentioned the command right below. It will give a new matrix. Let's say G for any name you can give equals to P. First of all, I have a P matrix. I want to add a row, so I'll put a semicolon over there. semicolon and then three elements separated by spaces so this is add a row this is this is completely simple isn't it very simple i want to add two rows put one more semicolon after after this bracket mm -hmm. over here and add another vector you it, you will add two rows to your matrices so adding row is simple but adding columns is something a bit difficult so what we have to do see I want to add a column with uh, numbers eight and ten to my matrix P. So I will put a command P. So this will put my first P matrix, and then I want to enter an element eight in first row and nine in second row, and then I have to write eight and nine. I'm sorry, there's a mistake over here. I committed. Oh, it's a blunder. It has to be ten, not nine over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Over here, I have just put nine. It has to be ten. Sorry. So you have to separate those two elements by semicolon. So two different concepts of concatenating. If you want to add a column, this is the format. If you want to add a row, it is comparatively simple. So it is just the placing of spaces and semicolon that distinguishes between adding a row and a column. that's why in matrices comma semicolon and spaces you should be clear with these three concepts where to put space where to put comma and where to put semicolon so be careful with this because you are concatenating with the matrices okay so this is how we concatenated the matrices and now this is something which might not seem important to you but believe me it is important when you start doing some hefty calculations with this scilab these small things come to great help okay so just have a look at the slides for next 30 seconds and then we'll move forward this slide is for adding a column to matrix p have a look at the slide the syntax that i have put at the below right adding columns and this is adding rows right clear okay again one small exercise in 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 this uh, specific example i'll give you see in in the adding rows i did tell you that you put a semicolon add, add three more elements and it will add two rows but what to do if i want to add two columns yeah of course there is a simple solution that you can fire the same command two times 
with different values but why to do that think of something how to add two columns to this right think over it it's 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 not that difficult think over it give it a try and if you don't find an answer write back to us we'll share our email id towards the end of the lecture we'll give the solution or else you can just google it out okay moving forward elementary row and column operations yeah now this is where the essence of matrix come right the row operations and column operations are really very important in any matrices let's have a look see if you have known how we separate rows and columns how we identify rows and columns of a matrix as as neil taught you just a few minutes back how you extract a sub matrix from a matrix if you are clear with that elementary row and column operations are not that difficult have a look see again i have the same matrix p 1 2 3 4 5 6 i want to do a column operations c 3 2 minus 2 this means what column 3 will be multiplied by minus 2 and added to column 2 is it right so i have just uh, drawn it diagrammatically i will take column 3 i'll just point out yeah i'll take column 3 multiply with minus 2 and subtract it from column 2 clear how to do this see let's go step by step first what we want to do we want to extract column 3 from this matrix how we do it and here is a here is the answer p braces open oh sorry braces open colon comma 3 so all rows of three third column we have third column okay we will multiply it with minus 2 that i have done i have multiplied it with minus 2 and then what add it to column 2 now how i extract column 2 p colon comma 2 that is all rows of second column right so now i have column 3 multiplied it with minus 2 and added it to column 2 simple enough now this is important this is what this is actually the second column so this is i'm updating the second column with this entire value is it uh, that that is what we do with its elementary operations right we take column 3 we take column 2 we do the operations and then put it back to column 2 and this is the the first